Nick BG7 What is up you guys, Nick BG7 and back with another video. This video is gonna be explaining on how to add workshop collection to your Gary's Mod dedicated server. Um so first thing you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and start getting a collection ready. If you already have one, you can go ahead and skip past this. Um so in order to get your collection, you want to go to you want to go to your Steam, you want to go to the community, and you want to go to your workshop. Once you go to workshop, it'll show up like this. Just click on Gary's Mod, and then uh, click on go to the top left and put your mouse over Browse and click Collections. Now on the right of your screen, you will see Create Collection. Go ahead and click on that. Uh, you can use anything you want. If you're making this a like public server, you can just go ahead and put this to whatever you're putting. For now, I'm just going to put this as a test server for YouTube. Alright, branding image. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set this right quick. I'm just going to put just like a black screen. Um, let me get it right quick. Uh, go here, and then black wallpaper. Alright, describe your collection. Uh, this collection is for for my test server. Um, what kind of collection is this? Obviously, you want to have it so you can subscribe all buttons. So if someone wants to subscribe to all your content to make the server more better, they can click subscribe to all. So make sure it's on the top one. What categories do you, does your collection belong to? Um, I'm gonna go with for now. I'm just gonna go with weapons because that's what I'm basically going after. Um, but I'm gonna leave all this. Maybe I can put a role play. I don't even know where role plays at. Here it is. <laughs> I am gonna click save and continue. And then now it's going to ask you to uh, what kind of um, add-ons you would like to put on your server. So I already have this one subscribed, so I'm going to go to my subscribed add-ons. I'm going to go all the way down until I see M9K, which is my favorite pack. I like. I mean, I do like um, F FAS weapons, but I'm going to go with M9K. So um, for instance, I'm going to get all four of these M9K Assault, Heavy, Small Arms Pack, and Specialties. Gonna plus all these, so it sucks as I have to keep scrolling down and find it again and then add it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of these. Uh, I pass it up. All right, small arms pack, and then now we are going to get specialties. So now that they are on here, you should just see them right here. Go ahead and click save and continue. Once you're done with that, it's going to say this collection is not public yet. Go ahead and just click publish. Uh, you can worry about getting your background image later, or you can do it right now. It's up to you guys. So now that we got, now we got, we got this. <laughs> now that we got this collection here, you guys will see all the stuff right here. You guys will see a bunch of settings that you can change. Uh, you can check when it was posted, updated, all that stuff on the right hand. You can change the visibility. Make sure this is public. I'm pretty sure it won't work if it's on private, so make sure it's public. Uh, your description will be right here. You see that subscribe with all button right here, but I already have everything subscribed, so it should be fine. So now what you want to go ahead and do is you want to click right, right click on anywhere on the page and click copy page URL. Now what you want to go ahead and do is, I'm just going to open my console real quick. Uh, go ahead and paste this anywhere you'd like just so you can get um, your collection ID. Uh, you can put this in your browser or if you have this in the browser or whatever, just go ahead and try and get this right here. So what you want to go ahead and do is control C this, copy this somewhere. Uh, for instance, I'm going to copy this on my notepad of my second screen. So once you get that, just go ahead and make sure to only get these numbers at the very end. You guys should see it. Go ahead and get rid of that. Now the next thing you guys want to go ahead and do is get your auth key. Um, so if you guys actually go to this website, I will have this on in the description below. Um, this is pretty much API workshop for dedicated servers um, so basically we got the collection uh, we got the collection ID now we're going to be getting the auth key so we're going to click on here open up this page you have to sign in uh, put you yeah, ask you for a username just put any username you'd like um, and it should give you an auth key I am not going to show my auth key well I might actually have to but I'm not sure uh, I'm not going to show my auth key because I don't really know why. I just people told me not to do it. <laughs> I think the actual website tells me not to do it anyway. So, so once you go ahead and get that, um, now what you want to go ahead and do is go on your server directory and go to your Gary's Mod folder. Um, now you should remember your start to bat folder. I mean file. Sorry. Go ahead, right click that on that. Click edit. You should get these lines right here. 
Now what you want to go ahead and do is right after you see minus console, which is right here, you want to go dash auth oh if I can have my cap lock on auth key space and then you want to paste it in your auth key. Uh, I'll paste it after and then I will uh um show you guys what it does. So once you paste that in you're gonna go ahead and press space again. Put plus host underscore workshop underscore collection and then space. Now you want to paste in that collection ID that I had you guys copy before. For instance, this is mine. Paste that in there, click space. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my auth key, so give me just one second. If I can type in my password correctly, that'd be fantastic. Alright, uh, key, go ahead and get this, I'm going to paste it right here. Alright, my auth key has been set, so now you guys will should see it in the line there. Go ahead and double click it now, and if I can double click correctly. Alright, now let's so open up your server again. Uh, on your source dedicated server, it should show getting collection, and it should say however much collection you have. I have four, for instance, because I have... Um, all the MNK, which you see right here, so it should be four. Um, it'll extract every single one, and it'll basically put it into your server's directory, which I don't think you can access. I never actually found it, but I'm gonna go ahead and wait until this is done. It shouldn't take that long. I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna edit this out because it's almost done. It's already at this third one. So yeah, it's pretty much gonna extract everything that is on that collection ID onto your server. So everything should be added quickly. Um. So yeah, make sure I'm gonna um, I'm gonna have every link in the description below, so you guys don't have to worry about that. Um, there is alternate methods on doing this. This is called the workshop DL. There's also fast DL, which I don't really use on weapons. It's kind of used for models or servers and such. Um, but we can also do another another workshop thing. It's where you go into your server's directory and add a um, workshop file, and you can go add workshop DL and then put the link put the ID for the actual workshop link which is very confusing I know I'm sorry I, I'm really horrible at explaining stuff but I'm gonna go ahead and wait until this is open it's almost done gonna start going onto local server gonna refresh once this says it's public if this would hurry the crap up that'd be fantastic uh, right, now it is up now you guys can see right here if I click on it I actually forget the password again, so oh my gosh, I got it right. Alright, so now when I do connect to it, I should have the N9K mounted and everything should be fantastic. So we're just gonna go ahead and wait until I get in. I'm probably gonna cut this out, so I shall be right back. Alright, what is up? I am back. Um I actually had to switch over to Dark RP because uh you can't really check if uh the weapons work if you're not on Dark RP because you don't have, really have the key manual. <laughs> so, I am now in Dark RP right now. I am now on the same map as before. Um, now, if you go ahead and go to weapons, you will now see the M9K has been mounted. You guys will see in here. I just get out. This might be a little loud, so I'm not going to get that much of a. You guys can see the guns work fine. Uh, I can see all of them just fine. Uh, you can see the, pretty much every gun works perfectly. Um, and yeah, so that is one of the methods on how to get weapons onto your server. Um, there is a weapon where you can use GMod Extractor and you can extract the workshop files into your add-ons folder, but sometimes that doesn't always work for some add-ons and I accidentally broke that. <laughs> can I move these two? Oh my god, I can. But yeah, there is different ways of doing it. Um, this is one of the ways. If you guys have any more issues, I will try my best to make another tutorial on how to do it in separate ways because I think there is up to three ways of doing this. I'm not. I think there's two. I'm not sure. But yeah, I hope this tutorial has helped you out. I was about to go into third person to get my outro, but I don't have third person on here. I hope this tutorial has helped you out. I hope to see you guys in the next video. If you have remember, if you have any questions or anything, please post them in the comments. I'll be glad to help you guys. Um, I'm sorry if I explained this kind of horrible. Uh, I do apologize, but I hope to see you guys in the next video. As always, leave a like if you helped you. Leave a dislike if it didn't. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. -bye.
What's up you guys? Hope you guys have enjoyed that video. Make sure if you did, make sure to check out my social media names, which can be right here. Or you can check out the description for the actual links. You can also check out my previous video, which is going to be right here. And you can also drop a sub if you guys are interested, which is going to be right here. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you guys in the next video.